guys, this series is a perfect example of how you revive a franchise. I'm not even joking. Before I even get into any reviewing of anything, I'm just going to let you guys know that this series was absolutely fantastic. I watched it the moment it was released. The last 10 hours have literally just been me solely watching The Dark Crystal Age of Resistance and it absolutely blew me away. So guys, if I seem tired, it's only because I've spent the last 10 hours watching Netflix and it's 3.30 in the morning and I haven't slept, okay? But as you guys know, I'm a huge, huge fan of The Dark Crystal, the original film. And when I found out that this series was coming out, I was so freaking excited. I remember watching the first trailer and I got goosebumps all over me. I have to say that the series definitely lived up to the hype that the trailers were really producing. And so, of course, you know, when people think of the Dark Crystal, what do they think of? They think of awesome puppet work. And I have to say, this series was just absolutely fantastic. If you thought the puppet work was great in the movie, okay, the series matched it and even raised the bar in certain elements. And I know lots of people were really nervous about the use of CGI because in the trailer they did show a lot of CGI and they did use a lot of CGI in the series. But what I think they did really well is they really molded the two art forms. They took CGI and they took puppetry and they put them together. And I really believe moving forward, this is a perfect combination of how to do it. They had this perfect balance of practical effects and CGI to just, and they molded it together so perfectly in the series. It really blew me away. It, everything just looks so freaking real. And that's because majority of the time it was, and for the more extreme things, they used really believable CGI. So guys, not only did the series look really pretty, it was just awesome overall. The weakest aspect of the original film, in my opinion, was the story and the characters. And the, the writers of the series clearly knew that because they made sure that their characters and their story was absolutely fantastic. Seriously, I fell in love with these characters from the very first episode and I got so nervous towards the end because I was like, I really hope nothing happens to these characters because over the last 10 hours I've really become attached to them. So I won't even lie, what drew me to the original film was the puppetry. And that's what kept me re-watching the film over and over again. And of course the Skeksis were absolutely fantastic. That was my main love about the film, which is how evil these Skeksis were, especially the Chamberlain. Oh, he was so delightfully evil. And what I love about the series is that they really explore the Skeksis. I mean, they actually spend just as much time on screen as the heroes do. So you understand both the good guys and the bad guys' motivations. And the Skeksis in the series are really fleshed out and you understand their motivations. And they're just so delightfully evil. I love it. And honestly, like while we're talking about the evil aspects of this series, the Dark Crystal Age of Resistance, this series is dark. Like it really gets almost onto to the verge of horror. And I always knew that the Dark Crystal universe was dark. I mean, if you watch the original film, there were definitely dark moments and really dark elements. And if you go into the extended universe and you read the comics and stuff like that, it gets hella dark. But this series definitely didn't shy away from really showing you some really dark stuff that I wasn't prepared for. It actually blew me away some of the stuff that they were willing to show on screen. And so of course one of the big problems with using puppets is the lack of emotion that they're able to portray. And I think that's really where the script shined through in this series. Because there's an interaction between my two favorite characters and that's Deet and Hup. And they're just busy talking and there's just all of this banter. And I completely forgot that I was watching puppets interact with each other because it felt so real, it just felt so organic. So even though at times it, everything does feel a little bit shallow in terms of you know, the emoting with, what the puppets can portray, the dialogue is so incredibly realistic and it's so heavy and you can feel every word that they're saying. The voice acting as well is absolutely incredible and it's amazing how similar they were able to get the characters that returned from the movie for the prequel series, how similar the voices sound. It actually blew me away how similar some of the voices were. And one thing that I wasn't expecting, and I, and I should have been expecting this, was actually just what a different story this series was in comparison to the movie. Because the movie is about this lone survivor that is the last of his kind. And the series takes place before all of that happens. You've got a thriving community with all of these different cultures. And it was just so awesome to see these cultures that they were only alluded to in the original movie. And they're incredibly fleshed out cultures as well. You get to go to all of the different locations where these cultures come from. You can understand why they act different ways. It's just, in, in terms of world building, I think the series really did a good job of making everything feel real and authentic. 
Honestly, so like the series has just been absolutely awesome. Great voice acting, puppetry was just incredible. Good use of CGI, brilliant scripts, absolutely fantastic scripts. Awesome, captivating story, great characters. I mean, these characters were honestly so awesome. But of course, the, the, the series isn't perfect. And the biggest gripe for me, and that's just because I'm a massive fanboy, is the soundtrack. And if you've watched the original movie, you know how iconic that soundtrack is. You know how incredibly awesome that opening just that, that that main theme you know how awesome that main theme is and even when Jen is busy playing on his little flute it's such a unique sound that you could hear it and uh, you could hear just a few seconds of it and you know exactly what movie it was coming from and you don't get that same feel in the series they don't incorporate the theme song in the same way they don't incorporate the same instruments in the same way and that was incredibly disappointing to me because I think that would have been a brilliant way to bridge these two, the movie and the series together. I think that would be a perfect way to just tie these into the same universe. But that's just me as a fanboy looking for something to complain about. But guys, honestly, this series was absolutely fantastic. Go watch it on Netflix right now. I highly recommend it. It is just so flipping awesome. But guys, if you enjoyed this review, please leave a like. Do not be afraid to subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.